What is going on YouTube? Views of LB back again on the new channel. Firstly, I'd like to say thank you to everybody who's come over from the old channel and come over to the new one. We've got a fair few hundred subscribers from that as well. And again, to anybody who is new, welcome to the channel. The channel where we absolutely ramble on about irrelevant things to do with cars. But yeah, I hope you stick around for the video anyway, because today we are in my BMW M135i. The last time you saw it was probably about three or four weeks ago um, when I had the Maxton kit installed and I had a black grill, I believe, at the time. But a few things have changed since then. So what we'll do, um, we'll hop out and let's take a look at the changes I've made with, the, made with the BMW. And yeah, let me know. Do you think we're finished here? Or do you think there's room for more? But I'll let you know what I think is going to happen with the car and the ideas I have. Also, in the comments below, let me know if you think I should... Or if you can think of anything that I should add to the car or take away... Um, and yeah, I'm going to hopefully be doing them in the next few weeks, um, months, obviously COVID dependent. But yeah, let's take a look. Let's see what you think. Should I stop here or should I go further? start around the front of the car um, excuse the wind I believe it's quite settled at the moment but we're in a quite an open area so if the winds annoying you then not much I can do I've got the wind reduction on and yeah I'm actually trying to balance crouch down right now but yeah we're at the front of the car and first thing you'll notice is the black grill um, I'll try put some shots up over this of what the grill used to look like I wasn't the biggest fan it didn't go with the gray color at all I think the only car color you can kind of get away with it is black anything other than that you the bronze grill just doesn't work. I don't know what BMW's thinking there, but I got that um, replaced straight away. We'll go into costing of this stuff in another video because it'll be quite a detailed breakdown because of various costs of where you get it done and, and whatnot. But yeah, we've got the gloss black grill on the front, um, which completely changed it, and that was the first thing I'd done to the car. Another thing that came bronze um, was these sort of air ducts here. So what I've actually done to this, um, I managed to get that wrapped in gloss black uh, by the guys at DNZ Customs. I'll leave a link uh, for their Instagram in the description. Make sure you hit up Denzel in regards to that. He's done a great job on them. Um, literally pulled in, done it, took about an hour, and I was out. And it was fairly cheap as well, but again, we'll go into cost in another video. So yeah, we've got the gloss black air ducts, and what they have done is it's such a subtle change, but it's tied everything in nicely, obviously. Ignore the splitter at the front, imagine that's not there. Um, if you've got sort of BMW without the kit, you'll see how sort of nicely it all ties in together um, with the black. And it also, from the side here, you can see it and it goes with the wheels quite nicely. But yeah, if you do introduce the Maxton splitter as well, that's something that I got done over at Motec Performance. Um, this is the V1 kit, I believe. It was the car that they had on their showpiece. Um, but yeah, everything ties in very nicely and overall it's completely changed this car I'm yet to bump into another one on the road um, I've seen a few on Instagram um, I'll leave a link in the description actually to um, Motec um, M135i I believe but I'll put the exact Instagram down at the bottom Maxton logo at the front as well I just think it adds a bit of colour to the front um, makes it look a bit more vibrant in its own subtle way but yeah the front of this car has completely completely changed um, and you notice something else as well um, the wind mirror caps as well from Auto ID they've actually made a huge difference to how the front of this car looks let me know if you think I should get the roof wrapped black or not actually um, when we go to the back I will show you what I'm thinking of getting wrapped but yeah some people want to say and get the roof done some people are saying not I mean where I haven't got the panoramic roof on there could be worth it but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments so yeah over to the mirrors 
these are from Auto ID, so these are sort of inspired from like M3, M4, um, the F80 one, where it's got kind of like a sharp uh, fin on there. So from the front it looks very prominent, and also from this side as well, you can really see it. And when you're driving, it's one of the things you actually notice. Um, and honestly, I think I've said it in the previous video, it feels like it's added extra power to the car. And onto the side, you see we've got the Maxton Design side skirts. So they literally add on to the original BMW one. So the BMW one sort of kind of stopped here. This gives it that extra um, sort of width and makes it wider. I mean, I'll probably get spaces on the car. That's another thing that I was going to touch on, just to maybe make the car handle better and also give it that wider stance. And I think the wheel arch, um, the gap between the wheel arch and the wheel here is a bit too big. So I'll probably drop this by about, I think, 20 mil, 15 mil and do the back by 15 mil as well just to give it that bit more of a stance um, because I think that's probably the only thing it's really missing um, but yeah the skirts are a very very big change definitely recommend them getting done again this is the V1 kit you can obviously get the M performance parts but they cost an arm and a leg and I think this just does the same job if not even better depending on preferences what I didn't actually do was the rear diffuser I didn't change that to the Maxton kit um, only because if I did it would absolutely dwarf these 12 tailpipes so I need to wait to get the exhaust done on that again let me know recommendations in the comments below if any of you have got a 135i um, and can recommend anything to do but I believe I'm just getting rid of this ugly back box um, just to enhance the sound of the car I want to keep it OEM I don't want it nothing too uh, vicious but yeah going to change the Maxton rear diffuser to the Rex Maxton rear diffuser sorry once I get the big tailpipes and should I go chrome or should I go gloss black um, let me know and again you've got this nice little feature here which is stock but it's fake it's got no use but oh well it looks cool another kind of subtle cheap change I've done was the badges so in previous videos you'll notice that I had the X-Drive badge on this side and then I had the M135i badge here in the bronzy uh, matte color but what I've done I've actually just picked up these gloss black badges off eBay and got rid of the X-Drive sign um, and I just think it looks a lot cleaner a lot better and a lot more aggressive just for something so subtle um, I think I actually want some short plates on here but once I get the private red gel I'll, I'll do that but I'm I'm not really a fan of the 3D gel kind of 4D look so I'm gonna keep it clean but probably go for a shorter plate and obviously try to get rid of this writing at the bottom for something else so yeah the kit looks pretty good I mean you'll notice another thing is the rear spoiler so the rear lip nothing too aggressive not like the M performance part or like a wing on an A35 but yeah this is again it just makes the back of the car look a lot more aggressive and actually looks like a sort of an M performance car rather than just a one series and I think this kit is actually a must um, for this car definitely recommend getting it done Again, you've got the Maxon Design logo there. I did actually get the car clean, but the way the dust has just settled where it's been sitting sort of on the driveway for two or three days is not the one. And I've also changed the badges on the side. These were also that bronze color, but changed them to gloss black as well, which um, yeah, has made a quite a big difference. I mean, looking at the side of the car now, you'll definitely notice the skirts, the front splitter, and the rear spoiler as well. And you will notice that wheel arch gap, which is going to be going soon. Another thing I've done is the front tints. So they are ever so slightly lighter than the back. If not, they're the same. But again, it just makes everything tie in a lot more nicely. Um, I'll come over to this side as well. So yeah, you see it just ties everything in where it's got um, It just shit. Uh, shading on the windows and whatnot it just looks a lot more sleeker and a lot more cleaner so recently i've done a poll on my instagram um at views of lb about the wheels and what to do with them so at the moment they're a lovely diamond cut finish um i'll go in here so you can see that so you've got the nice sort of, um silvery color on the outside with the gloss black on the insides as well um, it's almost like a multi-spot design but obviously the silver bits kind of break it up a little bit and then you've also got these huge uh, brake calipers in in blue so the bmw blue which matches with the logo and it just ties in really really nicely um, but yeah i've done a poll on my instagram whether to put these in gloss black 
or to leave them as they are. Um, leave them as they are at one. So it was 54% to keep them diamond cut. Um, and then it was obviously the remaining 46% to turn it black. But that was out of 150 votes. So it was pretty close. So there's only like a few votes um, between them. So still unsure what to do. I think I'm going to leave it like this for now. Then if I do get bored, who knows, I might just throw a wrap on the car and change the wheels. But for now, I think I'm going to leave that as it is. So back in the 135i now, hopefully you guys can hear me a bit clearer. Sorry about the wind noise, but it's got to be done. It's either that or no video. So yeah, what would you prefer? But yeah, let me know what you guys think, what changes I should make. So just touching on them, we said the rear diffuser, which would be coming with the back box exhaust. So yeah, let me know any companies or anything you recommend for that. Or if you are a company watching, I highly doubt it, then get in contact with me. Um, I've also got the lowering springs with spacers as well let me know what you guys think of that and obviously the gloss black wheels which are probably going to keep stock for now but i don't think i'm going to change them to gloss black but yeah let me know what you guys think it'll be interesting to see um other than that i think once them things are done i think that's it for me with the 135 i think i'm going to enjoy it for the moment um i mean yeah listen to how it sounds now actually i'll show you how it sounds and then yeah let me know if you think it needs it or not Let me know what you think in the comments below about that. I mean, as far as 2020 cars go, um, and this is actually a 2020 model, it was registered in February 20, so it's not got the pops and bangs which you would get on like a 2019 car. But yeah, as far as cars go with this day and age, I mean, it sounds okay. Um, definitely need something, like I think 100%. It's got a nice sound, but it's just not loud enough at all. I mean, you probably would have heard a little burble at the start if you didn't make sure you rewind and go back there again, especially for listening with headphones. Um, but yeah, it's just not not there for me. I mean, if I'm, you're driving a car like this, you want to hear noise. Um, I understand it's not going to sound like a Lambo or anything like that. And again, I don't want it too antisocial. But yeah, it needs something. It needs some sort of character. Um, it is a hot hatch at the end of the day, so it's not a crown to be a yobbo once and again. Um, now and again, sorry, but yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching. Just been a quick walk around. Um, you guys who are actually used to me know it's not this channel isn't where we do professional reviews on cars. This is just letting you guys know what it is actually like, um, and what uh, actual customer or some, or owner what they would be experienced having this car. It's not no fancy details. I'm not gonna start telling you about all its engine specs and whatnot you guys probably already clued up um if you're not 306 brake horsepower 450 newton meters of torque at a eight speed transmission that's all you need to know for this car and it's and it's x drive so yeah 0 to 60 4 point odd seconds 4.5 4.6 it all changes depending on the weather but yeah thanks for watching that's been views of lb so enjoy whatever it is you was doing before you click on this video and make sure you like subscribe leave a comment and also check out at supply.drive as well that's my car sourcing company if you guys want one of these you want anything then please give the instagram page a dm or go on the website do an inquiry form get in contact say you come from youtube and yeah i will be happily um able to help you out me and the team over there so yeah get in contact with me but that's been me take care